it's also but it's also like us parent parenting ourselves all the time mm. that's really what leading your life is all about isn't it yeah like because and it's leading your life in such a way that you can have your children lead theirs in the way that contributes to the creation or what they know is possible instead of creating a life from what you tell them is possible oh. and how much parenting is also a space not only committed to a parent who is giving birth to a child or a child who is giving birth to a parent but around everything which we are choosing in our life how much yes. are we parenting it and how much are we nurturing it yes, yes. absolutely manthi so true you know parenting is something that when you choose to create something if you are present with it if you are present with it you are parenting it you are a contribution to it and if you're not present with it it's a silent abuse to it it's like the energy of um abandonment that shows yeah. up because it is it started with being your creation and then somewhere down the line you you decided to pull your energy out of its world it's so really uh, yeah not be the greatest kindness yeah so whether it's a, whether it's a baby a yeah. child or whether it's a 50 year old child and you are 80 or whether it's a or whether it's a project or whether it's a class or whether it's um a boutique or you know whatever you're creating what if you didn't have to what if you didn't have to pull your energy out of it and what if you could be the energy that it requires instead of being the energy that you have decided it requires you know how much of parenting comes from a space of i have to do this for this i have to do that because it's right or because it's you know instead of coming from the space of what do they require what does this child require what does and if you have three children each child requires something different but do you put all three together into a box and or into a plastic packet and sprinkle salt and sprinkle some chili sprinkle some masala and shake it up and say this is this is dish. parenting this is my dish <laughs> completed these are the ingredients and now this is the finished product or else do you actually ask each child okay what do you require yeah. you know because when you when you're willing to be so present with each creation of yours whether it's your child whether it's you know whatever your or a project or whatever is when you listen you hear the whispers or what they are communicating with you energetically yeah and i also love the way you mention like how much it's a different recipe for a different child and a different recipe for a different project and we want to put everything in one recipe and we just want it yeah yeah so, yeah yeah exactly. absolutely it's like making an making an american italian turkish and indian indian Lebanese. butter chicken yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Does that taste good or even sound good? No. No, no way close. That's what yeah. happens with parenting, right? I mean, everyone has knows what's required for them. Everyone knows what's required for the child, but they go around looking at how do they do it? How do they do it? What do they do right? What do they do right? And then they try to take those ingredients and make it theirs, and it turns into a not a fun dish. Yeah. 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 and how much also it's a pressure on the parent as if they have been taught in a school or any like in a way like how we spend our time knowing about it but do we ever spend our time knowing about parenting and how to be a child around a parent or how to be a parent around a child how beautiful it's never been there yes yes and, and then we judge always... ourselves yeah right yeah. you know talking about Are you going to say something? No. Like talking about judgment, relationships in general, you know, um, it feels like we have to be somebody if we have to have a quote unquote successful relationship, whatever that means, you know, according to this reality, like we have to be able to judge 
Yeah. If we judge our partner in a relationship well enough, if we judge our, judge our child well enough, you know, we'll be able to tell them, or a parent for that matter, well enough. We'll be able to tell them where they need to change, where they are wrong, um, you know, what requires improvement in their world with regards to them or with regards to the relationship with you. Because if you're not going to tell them, then who else will? Because you love them so much. <laughs> So it's almost like we've taken this. I mean, how many of us have heard that while, um, you know, in different kinds of relationships? <laughs> we've all heard that in different kinds of relationships. You know, if I won't tell you, who do you think will? Like, yeah. I'm going to be the one to tell you where you need to change, where you're wrong. Where and I'm going to tell, and I'm going to make you see how wrong you are. So you now you can be right. Yeah. <laughs> Which is never <laughs> achieved because right and wrong in any case are invention. Like for consciousness, in, can you just, just for a second, can you all ask, is right and wrong even true in the eyes of consciousness? You know, and yeah. it's not. Consciousness never looks at any being, any relationship, any creation as right or wrong. It's all about, for consciousness, it's all about creating a greater future. That's yeah. about it. And it's like, if we could start to recognize that we don't have to ever get to judging ourselves, our partners, our children, yeah. our parents, we can actually allow the greatness to show up. Yeah. And also because how we, much it's, yeah, Chandra, go ahead. No, go ahead, darling. Yeah. So when uh, Isha was saying about right and wrong and also about how much we only have two choices whenever we are choosing anything. Either it has to be right or wrong. It cannot be anything else. Yes. It eliminates the whole multiple option which we can have. So we only tell our ourselves, okay, now I have to do this or be this. There can be only two choices, a right choice yeah. or a wrong choice. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you are either being parented right or you're being parented wrong. Yeah. You are either a good parent or a oh, bad boy. parent. You know, you're either a good child or a bad child. You're either a, a grateful child or an ungrateful child. Yeah. You know, even the grateful and the ungrateful doesn't come from the energy of true gratitude. It comes from the energy of you're doing to prove that you're grateful. Yeah. You're not doing enough to prove that you have gratitude. It comes, there's so much of, there's so much of, there's so many agendas in parenting and there's so many agendas that children have with their parents and there's so many agendas that parents have from their children and from their parents that it's it's almost like they're lying to each other so many so often and there is no transparency which doesn't allow the relationship to really grow it's yeah. like you know they, their expectations their projections they are judgments but there is no, there are very, very rarely are there questions. Very rarely do you really sit with your child and ask, what is it that you would like to have? And what do you know? What, you know, what are you aware of? We are told, we generally see parents telling their children, my experience was this, so don't ever do that. That's bad. I am helping you. I'm making you see that it won't work for you. So it's almost instilling problems into the world where the, where the children come from the space of possibilities. And it's almost instead of, instead of asking them and encouraging them to be the possibility, you know, it's almost like taking this invisible hammer and hammering them into problems. Yeah. So what, how different can your life be if you're willing to be a bad parent that can be judged, that allows your child to choose for himself? Because in this reality, we don't allow, we're not supposed to allow children to choose. You're supposed to tell children what to choose. So if you allow your children to choose, you're probably a bad parent. Yeah. <laughs> so how much fun can you have being a bad parent? <laughs> that, also that brings me to this uh, energy that it's this class only for the kids and parents because the, the name itself suggests like conscious yeah. parent, conscious kids. Yeah. So we forget ah, that at, even at the age yeah. of 35, I'm also a child to my parent. Yes. Can I also receive and change that life or that relationship, even if I'm not at the age of a teenage or whatever? So, like, can you share more around it? Because you guys are facilitating this class. So, who all can receive this class? Because it's, you want to talk it's about uh, that young that young man who joined us, <laughs> whose father. So we had this young man who joined our class. You know, a CPCK class from Sweden, and he joined the class. He was young, he's just about 65 years. And he joined the class. 
so he could change his relationship with his dad, who was 92. And during the class, well, it sounds almost, almost, I mean, it's, it's just, it just sounds so magical. Like sometimes when I put it into words, I'm like, am I taking the magic away? But truly, it's just to let people know as to what else is truly possible with this class. Yeah, and fun, funnily enough, yeah. like during the class, it was so, it was so beautiful because he was someone who did not put himself off mute. He did yeah. not ask a question. He just like, he received through the class yeah. and gifted his energy, energetically contributed to, you know, where the class was going through the, through those days and. At the end, he spoke and he said, you know what he said. And also he said, you know, I've been having this pain for a long, long time. And in I his knee. In his knee. And he said, I haven't been able to walk for months. And wow. today, for the first time, I have climbed the stairs without any pain, without any anything. And, you know, it's not supposed to be possible with a parenting class. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. <laughs> Fasting so many myths that how yeah at any age we can receive and it can be so non-linear which can change yes. our health our relationship yes. and the way like we could receive like we, we always think that in order to receive I have to ask question or I'm involved yeah. only then yeah. like, being just present yeah and yeah. shifting so much it's like it can be only magic right it cannot Absolutely. be logic ever. Yeah, yeah, so true. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, somebody did this class, a young girl did this class, and I remember abuse in her life disappeared. Yeah. You know, so it's like she was unmarried. She's unmarried. She doesn't have a baby, but she came to the class simply because she came to the class thinking, what am I going to get out of this? You know, like parenting class. And I think, <laughs> I think another thing that happened, this was when mom had facilitated it. Um, I think in what part of the of the world? Um, um, was it Netherlands? Probably. Yes. Or was it Dubai? Yes. Yes. I think well, it, it was, was, yeah, Netherlands. And, yeah. And, it, well, I remember it so clearly because it blew my world and I was like, oh my God, if this is not miraculousness, I don't know what it is. What it is. So someone came to her and said, you know, I'd like to get pregnant. I'm not being able to get pregnant. It's really difficult. And that's why I'm here. Oh, that, that was a call that I did, a free oh, CPC okay, just like what okay, we're doing okay, right okay, now, okay, cool. a chat. And this lady was from Turkey okay. and she didn't understand English. So she wrote her question, you know, in the Zoom chat. down there, chat yeah. in Turkish. And I didn't understand Turkish. And somebody uh, translated, it. translated it and I didn't get to read it because the call finished. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, then you go ahead and then I'll tell them the question and later. Then, and then um, I think a month later? Yeah, about four or five months. Four or five months Four later, months later. Mom got a text basically from the lady, the beautiful woman saying that she's pregnant. Three months pregnant. Wow. She got pregnant within a month. Yeah. Wow. It was so beautiful yeah. because then she, and then she sent mom the video of the child yeah. when the child was born. Oh, I must share it with you. And this little child loves watching CPCK videos. So he would not eat till his mother would put a CPCK video video for him on the television. (laughs) And he would sit under the CP under the TV watching the CPCK call and she'd say, he knows. (laughs) And how much a child created that call? I I would I I wonder. Yes. yes. I wonder. And the question that she'd actually asked me was. How do I get pregnant? <laughs> Which mom did not happen to read. I didn't read it. <laughs> and we just cleared and we just talked about how you can invite, you know, beings to be yeah. your, yeah. if they would like to be, you know, your baby, your child. And if yeah. they would, you know, like to contribute to you and how you can actually, how the child chooses you. Yeah. Yeah. You think that, you know, you get pregnant, but it's actually the child that chooses you to be his parent, her parent, you know. Yeah. So we just talked about that and the conversation finished and, you know, I even forgot about it. It was so beautiful when I got this call from this lady and this, you know, message and she, she couldn't speak in, in English. So she did Google translation for me and she sent me these messages and it was, it's been such a beautiful gift. And yeah. what a beautiful engage, engaging of 
of worlds can i just say different yeah. worlds different yeah. energies coming together to create something that is so miraculous yeah yeah Absolutely. and it's and you know it was her choice to have created what she did and the universe just facilitates in the form <sighs> of words <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. i think I, that thing like around how it can be an invitation for those beings who are so conscious and they want to bring conscious to our world that that really hit me oh. like all of us ask about okay that i want to have this kind of child that kind of child or they are not able to be pregnant but if imagine this can be an invitation in our yes. space that yes. which being can choose me where i can choose more consciousness yes. Yes. that is huge guys like yeah. wow because yeah. parenting wow. really is about inclusion it's not about exclusion it's about expanding your world including you including your children yeah. that is parenting where you don't have to exclude yourself where you don't have to deprive yourself where you don't have to sacrifice yourself it doesn't have to be either or it doesn't have to be either my children or me it's inclusion of it all and a creation with that yeah. and you know it's so beautiful because when we talk about conscious parents conscious kids it also trickles to siblings it also trickles to in-laws it trickles to your your spouse you know it includes all those relationships that actually create you as a family yeah so a lot of times like you know I was laughing with somebody the other day and she was like gosh the cpck class is like a family class yeah. it brings up so much to the surface yes it does <laughs> it does and if you are brave enough to look at it then you can change what doesn't work for you within being in that you know it's not like you pick up you don't throw the baby with the dirty water right we just throw, throw the dirty, the dirty water, water. <laughs> <laughs> i love that analogy when we say that every time yeah <laughs> including you in the equation like wow that is yeah. so potent how much we we are asking okay i want to have this for me but am i really including me and the others in the equation yes. or either i am yes. including me or them like the yeah. either or in universe yeah, yeah. and it's so much reality. yeah the fictional yeah. reality is absolutely yeah. yeah yeah and that's where we also start to recognize that you know there is no separation and you start to include the earth like if you see the earth the way it parents us yeah. you know it's yeah. there for us and total allowance total gratitude always honoring us always so there for yeah. us yeah you know yeah. and it's what if parenting can be like that yeah and also you know because i have seen a lot of young parents i've seen a lot of my friends become young parents recently and what i have come across is such a different energy yeah for each one of them so it's been you know it's beautiful to see them become the parents they are today you know with this and it's such yes. a sense of pride every time i see that but also like what if you know the parents who are just becoming parents can know that they're not alone yeah in parenting yeah they're yeah. not alone there's no yeah. need for free, freak out to occur there's no need to you know put that that um intense pressure on your shoulders of just having it right having it correct making yeah. sure you don't screw your child up because yeah. you yourself somewhere are still feeling that you're almost still a child you're just becoming yeah like it's almost like people feel like they're going to have to grow up faster than ever when they yeah. first hold their child in their hands they cannot you know afford according to their point of view they cannot afford to make mistakes anymore they cannot yeah. afford to um be away from the house too often they cannot afford to have fun so how many times when parents you know become parents um do they decide that now the fun is going to have to leave their lives Yeah. Everything yeah. that is, did you destroy and uncreate that? Yes. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Wow. Yeah. So it's like, um, if I could say something <sighs> today, you know, from today's call, if there's something I can reach out to the world today and just say, I would just be like, reaching out to all those, you know, people who have just become parents who are still feeling like they're struggling. or you know they they're scared they're nervous they don't know how they're going to do this like i would just be like you got this you're not alone you know, and like, what if yeah yeah is exactly what you were going to say i think yeah go ahead no go ahead no you go ahead <laughs> <laughs> what if 
what if you never parent alone like this is what mom mom this is what mom says a lot and i it's just it's just so beautiful that what if you are parenting your kids with the universe yeah. like what if you ask the universe to co-parent with you yeah that i love asking the universe can yeah. we co-parent together please yeah. yeah i'm committing to consciousness yeah but that I doesn't mean i'm separating it's also an invitation yeah. chandana when we see both of you the way you receive as a parent as a child and who knows when are you a parent and when are you a child it's a receiving and i'm a child very exactly. often trust me <laughs> <laughs> yeah i get parented by isha then <laughs> yeah because the way she comes the way she holds space in a call and whenever i i see you guys facilitating each other is definitely a co-parenting and it's it's a it's a receiving it's a receiving in action and it's receiving in weaving all the thing yeah and it's and never I like to say mansi thank you so much for that acknowledgement but i i also want to like let everyone know who may feel also like this like it's not been easy to get here yeah like we've worked at it to have a relationship of true communion that which i'm very true. very very grateful to say that yeah it keeps growing now because it's a commitment we made and it's yeah. like especially because you know we work together <laughs> <laughs> so it's like we we've, we've had to we've had to look at things that we did not want to look at we've had to see areas where we, where we were that was so difficult but i'm so grateful to have had those vul- such vulnerable conversations because because we we like what is valuable to our lives is like our lives is is the is the greatness of our relationship yeah of yeah of a relationship where we are truly committed to ourselves that has us choosing that relationship yeah yeah it's not about you know i'm committed to the relationship it's more of i'm yeah. committed to me to myself to my choices to the greatness of what is possible that includes and that includes every choice i make mm-hmm. every every relationship i create which yeah. creates the future because every small choice creates a future every small choice has you creating yeah. something greater like i like to say this that there are no, there is nothing known as a small choice or a big choice because every yeah. choice yeah you make is creating a trickle so even if you feel that you it, oh it was just a small choice no it, it was it was a choice yeah, yeah. It's, it's trickling something into the future so don't ever under, underestimate a choice or or you know or ever get stuck in thinking that you've chosen now really big so oh everything's going to be great <laughs> You know, I got it right. Yeah. No. Like the moment you think you got it wrong, right? You probably got it wrong. <laughs> which probably put you into a tight spot. So there is no right and there is no there wrong, is no guys. Right, no it's right. just yeah, what right. it's just what's true for you and what creates greater. Yeah. Yeah. From I think that uh, space. Yeah. Yeah. I think when when I'm hearing your conversation, I I I am remember of hunger. see we each when we are hungry right or we just eat once in a day and we say oh it's it's gone for the one year or something so <laughs> <laughs> it's like those creation where you feed that every time it is required and you are asking for it and you don't know when you will be less hungry or more hungry or you want to eat something or you want to include something yeah it's the same way we are making these choices as well it's not yes. like one time choice or one big yeah and yes. how much distance are we creating with our parents just because we are not creating with it like when isha mentioned it's not only about the work but when i'm creating with mom i'm creating yes. it every day we ha- we are working towards it yes. it's not a one time job that okay i said yes. okay mom i am there with you and <laughs> about the other part so yes. i think that that brought up something in my world yes. thank you thank you so much for sharing that thank you yes. sweetheart thank you dad and just- yeah I know mom is going to say something. No, nothing. No. I just want to <laughs> say Mansi, thank you so much. I remember I remember the day I met you first when Sam made me meet you. It's like I remember too. Like, yes. You both are so beautiful and such a gift. I'm like genuinely thank you so much for being who you be. Thank you for showering the planet with the kindness, the joy the and joy the kindness that you be. That you both like yeah. melt with you know it's different yeah. it's unique and it's a gift really and True. you know to be able to receive that in our worlds i know it's a huge gift for us so thank yes. you so much thank you isha for bringing that and yeah. we want to leave 
like every time people say that like it is like a choice i have to make every day for me it's not easy yeah but yeah it is it is totally dramatic every day and i don't know what part of it has to be <laughs> She's so sick chosen so it's it's mutual it's mutual because yeah. it's, we all are uh, committing to that which we love to create in the world yeah. that yeah. yes yeah yes that is so but the art you're doing is and you won't believe that cpck class like i've never read that book yet like that book i've never gone through and i had a huge uh, <laughs> what i can say resistance towards learning more around it but every time i open my laptop i have a sticker which i i remember isha has given me it says if it's not ease joy and glory you are not being you yeah oh. <laughs> you said okay i'm like oh my god <laughs> what is that reminding me of and maybe this class has an energy where it it will contribute to anyone who would receive or at yes. any point of time when they are receiving so it is amazing and so like actually also it's very different yeah. from the yeah. from the book yeah you know yeah. the book is little snippets it's yeah. more yeah. of it's it's got it's the it the has book has man. the book has snippets from each yeah different fa- facilitator facilitator sharing their individual yeah. story it's very beautiful please yeah. read it if you like for people out there who yes. like to read it it yes. talks about like each each facilitator and their unique yeah. yeah like it's wow. and the, yeah and the class actually has its own manual yeah absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. And the class also has a beautiful booklet a handbook which is which is my favorite i love it it's like it's just it's like a little baby just born yeah. <laughs> it's just so beautiful i love the energy of it and um yeah it's a two day class thank you sam for being here hi sam hi sam <laughs> <laughs> and how does it get any better than this when it is coming from a duo who are themselves working on it every day like being a parent being a child and they can swap the roles yeah and yeah yeah i i'm like it's like a real time thing like uh, receiving from a person who's doing it real time it's not about yeah. we're talking about some concept we are talking yeah, about yeah. something which we are living every day with the challenges and with the realities what is coming over with it mm-hmm. and the gifts yeah. as well yeah. and how undefined is that yeah. yes yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly exactly and it's not it's not difficult you know um uh, it can be a lot of fun it it can be one of the most fun adventures you have embarked on uh to be able to explore this journey where getting where you'd like to have a relationship of communion where you'd like to have a relationship of ease joy and glory yeah. and choice how many yeah. of us give up choice once you become a parent or once you have once you become a wife or a husband yeah, yeah. or a friend you have to give up your choice yeah. and basically hand it over on a silver platter to the next yeah. person yeah and what if wow. that's not true yeah. anymore and what if we are inviting people to a full choice universe not a no yeah. choice yes. universe yes. truly yes. truly what else is possible with that and what are the dates of our class 60 yes it is 60 to 80 I yes. loved uh, Manti's eyes. Yeah, right. Now we're talking. <laughs> 16th to the 18th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. IST. Yes. Yes. And it's actually a two-day class that we are doing over three days. It is online and live for all of you out there. How does it get any better yes. than this? Truly, truly. Looking forward to it. Sit in our home and receive this class. And... opening it for a whole family as well wow yes yeah yes and you know like we stated it's not just about parenting people think they're going to come and they're going to learn about how to yeah. diaper how much <laughs> milk we should give uh, <laughs> should we you know <laughs> how do we potty train yeah like when do we stop when do we stop you know uh, when is a child go to school yeah exactly when do we stop this and start this we actually could talk about that too if you ask yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. happy to absolutely my totally. mother will be more of a contribution totally <laughs> can be your dummy <laughs> can we exclude any topic in this particular uh, class it's, it's like that that class like Yeah. yeah everything yeah. is included and yes. yeah, anything yes. because that is such a like when i mentioned about age old it's like it's bringing so many like my child is included my parent is included my ancestors yeah. are included it's like a yeah. 
whole full range of energies yeah. or relationship I'm bringing into because yeah. because of them I'm creating this space, right? Yeah. Yes. How can you have a family without them? So I think yeah. so much is included when we are yes. open. It's yeah. like a Pandora box opening. Yeah. Up. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is a Pandora box. Not very many people like to enter. Yeah. When you <laughs> enter it, there's a lot of exploration. And those that enter probably change a lot of stuff. I remember there was this lovely lady who did the CPCK and. She's been doing a lot of access since many years. She's a CF from India. She's done a lot of classes. She, and after doing the class, she came to us and she said, this is the first class where I've actually gotten to acknowledge my being. Yeah. Oh. It was so beautiful. Oh yeah, it was so beautiful. I was like, yeah, yeah because that's so who true. you be. When did, what age did you give yourself up? Yeah. You know, to and be the child or to be the parent or, yeah. Yeah. And that's the energy that CPCK really is for all of us. Every person who comes in contact with it. Yes. It's the energy of like it it just holds you and it caresses you and acknowledges your being the way yeah. it's never been acknowledged. At least, or I can say like the way we've never allowed ourselves to be acknowledged yes. before. Yeah. And the future and I wonder <laughs> How much that changes the future? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. I wonder yeah. too. So we invite you all, come join us. Let's create a different future together. Yeah. A future yeah. of possibilities. It's an adventure ride. Like, it's yes. not like a boring, it's a very adventure yeah. ride. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But every day that. is new. Where every day is different. Where every day is new. Every day is a creation. You know, it's not a mundane routine life of being a mother or being a father or being a child or being a, in a relationship but there's actually adventure and there's actually joy and fun wow. and creation yeah all right is there anything else that we would like to share you can reach out to mansi you can reach out to samantha you can reach out to yes. us and we would love you guys to join us Yes, let's yes. let's ask for more and let's create more with it. Yes. yes, yes, yes. You can also reach out to Jyotika from Jaipur. Let's have fun with this, guys. Let's let's create magic. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Mansi. Thank Mansi. you so much, thank you so much thank Alan. You thank you, Shri. Thank you. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank you. Bye, love. Bye. -bye.